Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today the Beko dishwasher, how to remove and clean the filter. Right, let's get cracking. First thing you must do is switch off the dishwasher at the mains and unplug it. Then make sure you put the kettle on so you can have a lovely cup of tea. And then you're going to need your partner's toothbrush for cleaning. Lurgs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher? This is the Beko dishwasher here and I've been asked to have a look at this because it wasn't draining water and there was a bit of a flood on the floor. So open up the door and the first thing to do is remove the bottom tray. That literally just wheels out nice and easy. Just place that somewhere on the floor. Oh, hello Daisy, we've got a bit of an audience wondering what I'm doing. You can see we've got a little bit of dirt in here in the bottom, but we'll get to that in a minute. Then you can remove the lower spray arm, that literally just unclips and pops out. Then to remove the filter, you're turning it anti-clockwise. Now this might be a bit stiff if it's got lots of dirt in it, so just turn it anti-clockwise about 45 degrees and then lift it outwards. That can then be put in a washing up bow in the sink ready to be washed. Now this one's actually in pretty good condition, but that can be absolutely disgusting and covered in dirt and grease and blobs of fat. This filter mechanism has also got an inner filter. This just easily removes by just lifting it outwards. Then just fill up a washing up bowl with hot soapy water ready to give it all a good clean. There's a link above now about how to keep your washing machine hygienically fresh. And this is the locking mechanism at the bottom. So as you turn it, it locks underneath and I'll show you that later on when I put it back in. Next thing we need to do is just remove the gauze layer here. So just lift that up. And if we turn it over, you can see there's lots of dirt and fat on here and lots of dirt underneath. So we need to give that a really good clean. So take the dirt from this gauze layer. And first of all, just Get that into the dustbin. You don't want to wash that in the sink because then you'll be unblocking your sink. So just get as much dirt off as you can. You might want to wear some rubber gloves for this procedure. So just some hot soapy water and just get rid of all that dirt and debris. There's a link above now about how to defrost your freezer in under 15 minutes. After a good clean, this is what the items should look like. Next thing we'll do is get rid of all the dirt and debris inside the dishwasher here. Now I'm just using my fingers for this. That might be easier just with a small teaspoon or something. So just get as much dirt as you can, then take your partner's toothbrush again. Lugs. And just use that to dislodge any bits of dirt and grime which are wedged in. So what you're basically doing is you're just getting rid of as much dirt as you can. So this is nice and clean, ready for the next wash. Now you can see in the middle there, there's lots of standing water where the filter came out from. And we'll get to that in a few seconds. What you need now is a sponge. And you're putting that sponge in there and soaking up all the water from where that filter came from. So you're basically draining this off. Now if you've got a bigger sponge, that will obviously be easier. So just keep going until all that water is out of the drainage area. There's a link above now about how to fix your sticking curtains on the curtain rails. Really good tip. Now you can see already we've got lots of dirt down here and there's a it looks like there's a bit of plastic in there as well. So you can see why this dishwasher has not been draining properly. So this will affect your dishwasher cleaning and you could get flooding in your kitchen. I'm just going to pick this out. Now this is one of those rubber feet that's come off of a plate stand or something like that. So that's not going to do the dishwasher any good at all. And that could easily block the impeller. Now in the bottom here, we've got lots of dirt and debris. I'm just going to use my partner's toothbrush again, but it might be easier to start with to just use a long teaspoon in here or two teaspoons wedged together just to get as much dirt and debris and fat balls out as you can. Now I'm going to try and get my fingers in here, but I've got quite big hands and it's very difficult with my sausage fingers to try and get out any bits of dirt. 
So whatever tools you can get in here to get out that fat and dirt, just use whatever you've got at your disposal. To just get as much as you can out. You've got a small hole in here, that's where the impeller is, which does all the drainage. So you put your fingers in there, see if you can get any more dirt out of there, or any bits of debris which might be blocking the impeller. Sometimes you get bits of glass or bits of china, or sometimes bits of sweet corn or any bits of food. So you're basically just making this as immaculate as possible so it's really sparkling clean. There's no dirt left. There's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean. Hot soapy water. Giving it a good clean. It's already smelling a lot fresher. And what we'll do is after we've put the filter back and everything, we'll run a hygienically fresh washing program. That's where you put in a dishwasher cleaner. I'm just gonna clean the inside of the dishwasher here, just get rid of any other bits of dirt which are laying about. Then I'm going to put the gauze back. This is really simple. It just literally just lays in there. We'll just put the inner filter into the outer filter. Now the inner lugs here clip into the outside of the outer filter here. So you just push that down and it should just clip into place. This one seems to have shrunk a tiny bit and won't clip in, but it should clip into place and hold that inner filter in place. And the locking grooves are just here. So you're letting that just push down and then you're turning it clockwise until it locks in under those grooves. So just let it settle down. You'll notice that inner filter has worked its way loose again. I'll try to clip that back into position before I put the basket back in. And you should feel it grip. And then just tighten it in. And then as soon as those arrows are lined up, that means it's locked into position. Fabulous. Then we can put the lower spray arm back in. Now these very rarely get blocked, but you can check this just by running some water into the hole there in the middle there and turning it upside down at either end and the water should just pour out nice and freely. So put that back in, just pop it down, spin it round. There we go. Then take your dishwasher cleaner. There's lots of different ways of doing this and different makes. On this one, we just take the label off the top Remember to plug the dishwasher back in and switch it back on. So we're laying the dishwasher cleaner in the plate tray and it's just got a bit of wax on the bottom. So as it heats it up, all the dishwasher cleaner comes out and cleans your dishwasher inside. You should run the dishwasher clean about every couple of months, but obviously it depends how much you use the dishwasher. And all dishwasher cleaners will remove grease, fat and lime scale from your nozzles, from your filters and the spray arm and help clean the water pump and the drainage. And it will help clean those hard to reach places that you cannot reach. Makes it more environmentally friendly and extends its service life. So we're just gonna put this one on number four setting, which is the intensive wash obviously there's nothing in it apart from the dishwasher cleaner now when it's doing the wash it's definitely worth going outside when it does the drainage just to make sure that the water is draining out of the dishwasher properly and this one is looking absolutely fantastic and when it's finished a couple of hours later oh you can just smell the difference brilliant nice and clean in here and then it's ready to actually do a proper dishwash filling it with your plates and cutlery. And also all that hard work has definitely made me thirsty for another cup of tea. I know I had one at the beginning, but you just can't be having a cup of tea. Oh. 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 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.